Yo, today is Saturday, July 31st. Two days till dunk camps. I fly out tomorrow. Monday, the first day of dunk camp, we usually test our vertical, so that's where I'm trying to peak. So, this week of dunks was fantastic. I'm gonna talk about my recap from the, the full session I had and then today's dunk session prepping for dunk camp. So I'm feeling fantastic. I wouldn't say I'm 100% back. And when I say 100% back, early 2020, I was jumping my highest, about 43 inches after I measured my vertical in 2019's dunk camp at I believe I jumped a tiny bit higher than that, unofficial 43 inch vertical. After that, hamstring rehab, trying to figure it out, finally coming back, just about 100%, great timing for dunk camp. That's what this week felt like. I felt almost back to 100% and especially today. And the reason why I say almost 100% back is because I was at the same rim where I had my highest jumping day ever. I remember hitting my head on that backboard and I was really close, might've touched my hair, but here are those dunks. Yo, good morning, fellas. I should do this more, by the way. Woke up, HRV's tanking. And I'm gonna talk more about the whoop and HRV and all these tracking things, but uh, it's dunk day. Thursday, I have dunk camp in three days. On Monday, that's usually when we test our vertical, so I wanna be fresh. Not, not only just fresh, I wanna be with extra gas in the tank because every time I err on the side of being more rested, I'm, I'm jumping through the roof. It's just so hard to rest. All right, guys, so. Cheers to dunk day. I got new dunk life gear coming, but I'm waiting till the cloth is premium. Because right now it's kind of basic. You can still get it, I guess, if you want. Maybe I'll, I'll make it available, but I want it to be stuff you want to wear, not just because it's dope looking and the message, but also because it's like, dang, this makes you feel good. Dude, that's what, I want you, that's what I want you to do when you wear it. Let's go. Oh my God, I almost forgot. I have a, fu I have a complete song, a new dunk life remix. This one might be my... Might be my best rap yet. Let's go. Dunk life, baby. Get up. Elevate. Elevate. Flying through the sky. Never need a cape. So much vertical. I jumped to outer space. If I go win a contest, we got to celebrate. I'm in better way. Cause I'm in need of great. All this working for my sons and my family. All this working for my sons and my family. There's 10 feet, and I actually think, if I remember from a while ago, it's a little high. So I'm trying to tell myself it's 10 feet, dunk it easy off the dribble, and then be like, wow. Only half an inch high. I do need to jump higher. You guys got that dunk life or what? Well, you know, lucky you're not consistent. Show us yours. Let me get it with you. Watch out. Let me get it with you. I like control, but I feel fast. I need to be fast. Let's go. <laughs> the 
difference between an inch and a half is insane. Just look at this 10 and a half inch versus 9-11, it's insane. All right, so now I think I did what I needed to do, got those max jumps, felt super fast today. And I'm gonna rest up for a dunk cam. I could keep pushing it, but not today. Today's not the day to do that. Wanna have some fun, wanna be fresh. Stretch, recover, barely any lifting, let's go. So this was one of my fastest sessions, meaning this is one of the sessions I felt the most speed. Every session before this, I was gaining adrenaline, I was gaining speed, I was adding my full approach, I was adding speed to every takeoff, and this one I felt that real adrenaline and real speed. But I don't want to forget about the dribble dunks, which is what I overlooked and just went from full approach, but I need to work on that drop step short approach to have a good dribble dunk takeoff. So that session was two days ago, jumped as much as I could. My plan was to jump my max, increase my speed, get as explosive as possible, that's why I don't focus on dribble dunks too much, just trying to get that max effort, max speed stimulus so I could be healthy for dunk camp enough days in between to get fully recovered and have that extreme effort in my body. All right, so today, today I went to a gym. I specifically went to this 910 rim a little lower just so I could do max speed and get some technique down on my dunk so that way when I'm going full effort and having at the dunk show I can have some technique under my belt and I'll have the adrenaline pumping so I'll be jumping higher just feeling great. So my goal today was more of a recovery get some stimulus and get some blood flow in my legs but really err on the side of low effort so that way I can be extra fresh for dunk camp. So I warmed up felt really good and I just started flying and just kept it at a four or five max jumps, I believe, and just felt fantastic. And specifically that distance dunk, I haven't taken off that far and that aggressive in months. And it feels amazing because I had not only the adrenaline and the mental, but my body could handle it. I felt strong, I felt powerful, I felt fast, and I took off and I back rimmed it, I felt amazing. So that jump right there might have been a 42, 43 inch jump, but I'm just excited to go even higher. I feel like I'm just getting back into dunking shape, yet jumping crazy high. Plus the dribble dunk felt awesome, so let's go! It's gonna be very hard to stop. Dunk camp is on Monday in two days. My goal is to just peak, jump as high as I can on the vertical measurement. I don't really care what I get. If I can match what I got two years ago, I'll be so pumped because I'm healthier, I feel stronger, I feel bigger, I feel faster, and I have more potential, so that'll be huge. But my goal is to peak on the vertical jump measurements, rest up, enjoy, and then have fun at the dunk show, land about the same dunk package, maybe get an East Bay in there, who knows, just have fun and fly. I'm so happy to be healthy and just grateful I can even dunk while I'm there, and I'm excited to see everybody, so ha! stay tuned for the dunk camp videos. I'm so pumped. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining my journey. Hopefully this inspires you to go chase your dreams and do anything, because anything is possible, yeah. and this gives you a little energy to just go nuts! Gang, if you need me, leave a